Now the men's 55 meter dash. The Zena fastest Charlotte. men in college track and field competition. Look at the field. I'm impressed with Notre Dame's Alan Rossum on their football field. A, a cornerback and one of the best in the country. And I think he's very wise to run track. It'll help how high he gets drafted. Here's a man who won't be drafted. Just 20 years of age, a senior. This is Obadelli Thompson from the University of Texas at El Paso. The world indoor record holder at 55 meters, having run it at the Air Force Academy earlier this year, 5.99 seconds. He's in lane four, Larry, and consider the results. Who has won, in other words, in lane four in all the other dashes on this Mondo track in lane four today? Good tidbit, Adrian. Doing your homework. You know, one thing I must add, that is an almost an altitude-assisted mark. I wish that the International Amateur Athletic Federation would make rules regarding altitude. Thinner air up at 6,500 feet or 6,000 feet lets runners run faster. So it's a bit of a tainted world record. Nonetheless, it is the recognized world record for this distance. Obadelli Thompson finished fourth in the Olympic Games to Michael Johnson at 200 meters. Watch him in the center of the track in lane four. Set. Oh, false start by Obadelli Thompson. And if I'm not mistaken, Larry, that's his first false start ever. Now, look, he may have injured his wrist or his, his hand on that false start, but he's out of the competition. Well, watch the right hand. He stumbles there. But, you know, an NCAA competition, a false start, you're gone. And it's been that way for 20 years. There are no false starts allowed at all here. He is gone from the competition. A stunning development. Lewis Johnson caught up with him. Over, were you just caught trying to catch a flyer? What happened there? I don't know, my hand started giving me a little bit of problems um, on the set. And I, I I mean, I thought I heard the gun go, but apparently it didn't go. That's the rules of the games. Now, now the hand, the problem with your hand, is this something that just happened today or from before? Yeah, I, or what I, specifically I, happened? I don't know. It felt like if it, my hand started to cramp when I was on the set. And so I guess that made me kind of a little bit nervous, but... I'm still thankful. This is my first fault start ever collegiate meet. Unfortunately, it occurs at this moment, but it was a good meet. I'm not really worried about it. There, I'm afraid I jinxed him from the best of luck to the worst of luck in lane four. He's a class act, though, Bedelli Thompson. 3.9 grade average with a double mate. World-class athlete. Brian Howard, lane three from Auburn, breaks the blocks first, stretches out in the lead, and breaks the tape first. It's the race for second and third, Larry, but we're going to have to look at the photo to determine, but Brian Howard, without Thompson in that field, appears to have won the men's 55. Adrian, definitely a breakthrough for Howard. He showed tremendous promise in California high school competition, set a 50-yard, uh, let me correct myself, a 50-meter indoor world record as a high school, and Harvey Glantz, the Olympic gold medalist on the relay, the head coach down at Auburn, now has a chance to get a great talent, and he's developing and bringing this young man along very well. Brian Howard gets out to a very fine start and slowly but surely increases his lead. But this is a breakthrough moment for this young man as he tries to become a truly world-class sprinter. There's the photo. Lewis is with Mr. Howard. Brian, some surprising fireworks there at the... Uh start of this race with the false start how did you regroup and refocus for what you needed to do um my coach harvey glance he taught me to when people false start to just maintain my composure and you know don't over exaggerate of what's going to happen and it's you know just basically stay in focus and hey don't let nothing affect me basically it must be awesome to have a guy like harvey glance doing the coaching and giving you that wisdom uh, for someone a, a youngster like yourself right oh yeah i'm just trying to follow in his footsteps and hopefully i could do just like him you just nailed yourself a national oh, yeah. championship. Congratulations. Yeah, about time. <laughs> we are prepared to go the distance. One more look at Brian Howard's victory in the 55. <laughs> 